<laughs> Yo, this is no longer Pokemon. What am I watching? What did you watch? It's on your screen right now. I am just now literally waking up to this. And I don't know why. Every single time when we get new information, I wake up to this. Why? Because I'm not a morning person. Don't question it. But what? What? This is Cell. He is the savior. He's killing Solgaleo. He's killing Lunala. He's killing Marshadow. He's killing everybody, dude. Look at this monster. We're going to discuss this here today, all right? So we actually got a lot of information today about the Zygarde forms. And everyone's like, oh, Pokemon Z, rip. I was like, no, it's going to be in Sun and Moon. What? And then, you know, of course, you got the angry people that slander. So they disagreed. But now I'm just smiling, looking at them. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Tell you so. <laughs> you hear the hand rubs? I told you so. Basically, though, uh, this is now confirming that Zygarde is going to have something to do with the Sun and Moon story. Well, I mean, it doesn't really confirm, but the fact that he's in Sun and Moon does say something. Why? What purpose does he have? Uh, I high-key think he's the savior. I high-key straight-up think that Sol Galeo and Lunala are going to be on some god shit trying to kill the world. <laughs> <laughs> and Zygarde is good. I mean, cause look, Zygarde is the defender. You know, he's 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 a defender. I forget what it really was, but he defends the Earth, right? And basically, what if the Earth is threatened and by Solgaleo and Lunala? We're just going way too far. Let's talk about what we know and what we learned today before I actually go on here and spit some of that real, real, right? Okay. So it's looking here though that it says. Uh, Zygarde 10% form's ability is known as Swarm Change in Japanese. That's a dog. Okay, so for all you furry lovers, that dog is a dragon, not a dog. It's a dragon. It's a dragon, right? And the complete form's ability is, uh, what does it say here? It's, uh, I can't even read this. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, Swarm Change in Japanese, the complete form's move is known as the Core Punisher. So that's his move, which is like that zigzag Z, which you see, which uh, is pretty dope. Not gonna lie, it's like that zigzag Z uh, type of shit. So it's looking mighty cool, not gonna lie, because I saw him use it on... What was that exactly? Was it a Garchomp? Did he use it on? He used it at a Garchomp. Shout out to Sun and Moon for every single trailer. They're killing some type of, like, viable Mon. Gengar, Salamence, Garchomp, like, leave them be. God, man. But it's actually busted, right? Peep this, okay? It says here, though, that uh, this footage shows uh, them using various attacks in Zygarde 10% form, changing into complete form when in a pinch. When in a pinch. Now, I'm almost positive, pos I'm almost positive, right? That in a pinch is 33%. Other abilities, I'm pretty sure, have said in a pinch, where they they boost they boost the move you know uh for swarm it's really along 25 percent bug moves are double the damage um, so i don't know I've, i definitely have seen descriptions though it says actually right here powers up bug type moves in a pinch uh for generation for all the generations of the, the games i guess sure and well now if we're going by a pinch actually i said 33 percent that's blaze and torrent overgrow so it's gonna be where the pokemon if it has 25 percent of its hp left then yeah it will transform into the complete zygarde form now what i want to know is that if this is the only way to achieve complete zygarde form like is it possible to maybe have just a separate zygarde form is this maybe some type of you know uh what is it the alternate darumaka form is it gonna be like that where it's Forget the name for it, because that's how irrelevant it is, but... Is it going to end up being like that, where it's the ultimate Darumaka form? Because I know that when he has a hidden ability, he transforms into it when he loses a certain amount of HP. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case for Zygarde complete form here. Like, I... Because it says, though, that he can... The dog one turns into the complete form one once he's at 25%. Because it says in a pinch, which if we did look it up, other abilities that have also stated in a pinch, it's... 25% of their HP so we can confirm that all right without them you know confirming it for us but the fact that if this is the only possible way of using complete form that might be a little crazy because I'm hoping at least that you can use complete form separately without having to have the dog hit 25% of its HP to transform inside of it like I'm hoping it's just different forms which they are but I'm hoping it's other ways to achieve them you know kind of like the Lando forms how 
Lando I doesn't drop 25% to hit Lando T. You know, the two separate forms, which I can understand that, but that's the concept between them. Between these two, the dog form and the complete form, the only thing we know so far is that when he hits 25% or in a pinch, he straight up just turns into complete form. I don't know, because I would like it to be if they were different forms. I mean, 10% form, he's going to be he's gonna like be weaker than regular Zygarde, because regular Zygarde is 50%, and this dog is 10%. So, people are going to be overhyping up this dog. He's, he, he's cool, I like the design, but he's not going to be stupid broken. He's not even going to be broken, if anything. He may not even be strong, he's 10%, what the hell? But he's then again, he's 10% of the complete form, and then Zygarde is 50% of the complete form. So... Uh, yeah, but I literally just I'm, I'm replaying this trailer because I you probably won't be replaying it on You know the freaking video cuz they're gonna block me right, but yeah, I'm looking at the trailer right now And he just transforms into complete form right and I'm trying to wait for this HP bar And I don't think that he I it, it, maybe he would have healed up No, he did not because he just uses core enforcer and that's it after that <laughs> That's it after that um, So I don't really know I, I don't I don't really know. I'm guessing Core Enforcer definitely is a dragon stab. Since it sounds like... It did super effective damage to the Garchomp? I don't know. I'm still constantly saying I don't know because again, we know little to no information about the Zygarde forms. And... Um... I'd like to know more, dude. I'd love to know more, but... I don't know. So far, this is all that we really know. So I guess until then, we're just going to have to wait on more information. Again, this is just a lot of ton of uh, discussions, open discussion. So half of what I said may be true. Half of what I said may not be true. That's what I like discussion because it's 50-50. So we'll see where it is. I also like to go back to videos like these to see if I got anything right. I did that for Oris and X and Y, and I got a few things right. So I'd like to see where I go along the lines for Sun and Moon as well. But I'm telling you. <laughs> Rip Pokemon Z, alright, cause Sun and Moon definitely might have some type of tides now with uh, X and Y story, which I'm definitely thinking that it is, alright? But that's gonna be the end of this video, of course, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you already have it, I'd love to hear feedback on what you think about these Zygarde forms, and with that, I'm gonna give it out, goodbye.